So welcome back everybody. Am I unbelievably excited to share a new shop, probably my ultimate dream tool with you, a CNC plasma table. Okay y'all, so today's video isn't necessarily about the plasma table. It's about our first job that we're gonna do with it. I need some parts, we need to get to work. But because this is gonna be a, such a huge part of this channel and our other creation type channels, I thought I'd give y'all an introduction. I've got a video, may have already posted, not sure yet, that's gonna be on our review channel going over the full install and build process and tips, tricks, problems I ran to, good things, all that. But that's not what today's video is about. But I do want to introduce y'all to this because it's going to be such a huge part of the shop and creating moving forward. So what the heck is this? If you're not familiar with it, this is a CNC, a computer controlled plasma cutting table. So you put sheets of steel on here and then you run computer programs. You can design your own parts through CAD. You can download stuff. If you see all those metal decorative signs, they're built on tables like this. Although this is a pretty small one, they get much bigger than this. I'll be making specialty gussets, parts for equipment. I can create and build my own, say, tractor excavator attachments. Now, the sky is the limit. Whatever I can think up and design and cut out on sheet steel or plate steel, we can absolutely do it. I can cut from just 20 gauge sheet metal on this, for example, all the way up to one inch thick material. Although I'll probably never be cutting that big, we may get into some like half or five eighths material down the road occasionally when we build stuff for tractors and excavators. All right, y'all, I'm grinning from ear to ear. I've been out here playing with this. It's taken me a couple days to get this set up, learn some of the basics on the computer software. I am by no means an expert, but we're gonna show you one cool project today. I actually need some specialty brackets built for an upcoming project I'm starting on later this week. Instead of ordering those in, paying a pile of money for them, I'm gonna show you the savings right off the rip with this. Speaking of, I've already got multiple jobs lined up that's already gonna pay for a good portion of this machine and I'm just getting started. So if y'all have never seen one of these before, this is the model I got. It's the Crossfire Pro from this company right here. Not sponsored, bought and paid for with my own money. I went with this one because it's extremely popular for the hobbyist style or shop person. You know, just trying to uh, have a small affordable type machine. Obviously there's nothing industrial grade about this, but for the hobby person, this is gonna be perfect for me. So we can cut up to four feet wide almost three feet deep. I really did want a bigger model, but y'all, I don't have the room that I once did. Maybe if we add on the shop in the future and this starts being really successful, and if it's lucrative at all, we could upgrade into, well, a new addition to the shop and a four by eight plasma table, but I'm dreaming and looking way too far ahead right now. Let's play with what we got. So you lay your sheet still up here, you design whatever part you want and your CAD software, CAM software, you can download uh, already pre-made files, which is something I just did. You punch it in, you set everything up and this cutting torch right here just goes to town and it's run off of whatever plasma cutter that you wanna set it up with. By the way, I will be doing a review on this on the review channel. I purchased me a beast of a plasma cutter, something that I can never outgrow. That right there, my friends, is a 100 amp plasma cutter. It can literally cut an inch and a half thick steel. I'll never cut that thick. And that's okay, in case we do expand our horizons in the future, I have something I can grow into. Plus I get a 100% duty cycle now, which means it doesn't have to cool off no matter what I'm back here cutting because I'm not gonna be pushing this machine at all. So the cool thing about this plasma, it's already set up where you can get a CNC machine torch, which is what I have here, or I bought it with a hand torch as well. All those fire pits and everything else I build, well, now I can just pop the hand torch on it. We're gonna do a little cutting with it today, and I can go outside and blast through some projects. This is gonna be a money maker for me right here for all my metal working. So the sky's the limit. As long as it'll fit on this table, I can design and build it from signs, custom gate parts, tractor parts, doesn't matter we can do it. And as you can see with the mess in here, I've already been testing it a little, but let me show you what we're gonna be building today. So I have another very exciting announcement and build coming very soon on the channel. Again, we're bringing y'all fresh and new content. We're investing in ourselves, we're investing in the shop, we're investing in the property, and hopefully we're gonna be creating content years to come and making us some side income. Well, it just so happens for this upcoming project this week, I need some of these six by six post brackets. I actually go through these all the time from swing set builds to just anytime I'm working with six by sixes. Well, here's the problem. These brackets are quite expensive. And just to give you all an example, here's a typical six by six bracket on Lowe's, $26 plus shipping. 
Uh, depending on the thickness and the type that you get, they're usually anywhere from about $25 to $40 each now, each. Now, because most of what I build is not code and doesn't require code type plates, I could care less. We're gonna build them even better. So this is an example of some of the cheap 20 something dollar ones that I buy. Super thin, 14 gauge, not very big. Well, we're gonna cut some out of 11 gauge material, much thicker than that. We're gonna make them bigger and we're gonna make us a stronger bracket. And here's the kicker. Okay, so here's the thing, y'all. I need eight brackets. We're gonna cut them out of some of this 11 gauge sheet steel that we have up here. So think about it, eight brackets. I could probably get almost four per side, about, you know, a row of four right there, a row of four right there. The cost you're looking at anywhere between three to five brackets, depending on if you get the good ones or the cheap ones, will pay for that entire sheet. I kid you not. So a row of four here and about two right there will pay for this entire sheet. I'm really liking where this is heading. Plus I don't pay shipping, plus I don't have to wait. If I'm working on a project and happen to need a couple brackets, come over to the shop, already have these files saved, throw a piece of steel on there, whip it up, good to go. And that goes for gussets and corner brackets and just anything you can think of that I can create, we can make now. Oh, plus not to mention all the cool builds, the rocket stoves and everything else. There's all the time, fire pits, man, I can think of the sky's the limit now. There's all time little decorative things or brackets or gussets or little things that I need that would help me out, custom parts, so to speak. Now we can do it. All right, I'm about to dig through this stack. I've got some scrap steel back there. We can probably cut everything today out of just scrap, making this even more affordable. Let's pop a piece of scrap steel up on the table, design this bracket real quick, and uh, cut it out. If we get what we would like, we'll pull a bigger piece out and cut all eight of the brackets that we need for an upcoming project. Let's get started. So how is that for a bracket? Although I did mess up on this one. This is why we're cutting out of scrap first. Heavy, heavy duty T-post brackets. So here's where I messed up. This is due to my inexperience, but hey, we gotta learn all this software. I started my pierce on the outside of the circle, whereas it really should be either directly on the edge cutting out or ultimately pierce inside the circle, then move to outside. So these don't look the world's best as a result, but actually I'm gonna be putting a washer down. I'll still even use this one. All right, let me show y'all something. This is the cheap, cheap ones off of Amazon and cheap, they're still very expensive, but look how thin material they are. That's 14 gauge. They're nowhere near as big and robust. Now I'm running a really thick 11 gauge bracket. It's even bigger, more into the post. Seems to be sized correctly. It'll fit on a five and a half inch post just fine. Oh yeah, this, this is going to be amazing. I can cut so many of these out of a single sheet. It's insane. All right, so we need to fix my mess up right here. This isn't a how to, but I'm still learning all my software. I just went into my cam software and realized my lead in is set to uh, an eighth of an inch. Well, I don't want to lead in. I want to go to none. 
we're going to cut that off and just basically pierce the line. All right, so that just moved all my little start points directly on the line. Now, I purchased this file already built because I still have to learn CAD. CAD's going to take me weeks and weeks, or if not months, or a year or more to learn properly to build all these file paths and angles, but I'm about to start learning it. So I purchased this file plan off of Etsy for a whopping two bucks. I wish the original designer had started the pierce points inside the holes. If I were to build this myself, that's exactly what I would do. But this gets me up and running quickly. I can make some minor modifications as you're seeing. I can process this, send it over to my torch software. All right, let's import this new file right here. Now we should be good to cut again. Our machine lined up. I can get one more cut out of this scrap piece that I had, which is awesome for testing. Plus, these are already usable, anyways. Y'all, this is so sweet, my dream tool right here. I've always wanted to be able to do stuff like this, fabricate gussets and signs and custom parts like this. Ha! Ah, dream come true. So as you can see, much improved. Still got a little bit of problem to where it's starting. That's because I did not design this part and whoever did, shame on you. You should have started the torch in the hole. I don't know if there's an adjustment I could make or if I gotta go into like a CAD program and completely redesign this, but I can live with this. The cutout looks really good. The bracket looks amazing. And you're not gonna see the holes anyways once I put the bolts in there. This is so sweet. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, and for all of y'all thinking I'm junking my shop up again, never mind all this mess back here. I had to tear it out of the corner to get my CNC plasma over there. This stuff is going outside under the other barn. Oh, it's so hard to keep a shop clean. Yeah, like literally all this junk's getting out of the shop, but I'm too excited, ready to work. All right, so now we can start using all this scrap steel that I've saved from all these other projects to make something valuable and useful. Golly, that's heavy. I need to cut this in half. I'm gonna just cut it out here on the ground and not make the mess in the shop. Okay, so the drawback to a smaller table is I've got to cut down to four foot sheets, which means just cut an eight foot sheet in half. That's just the way it works. No big deal. I don't have the money or the room for a big four by eight table right now. Let me get this sheet in there. We're gonna have to flip our design around too because now we're gonna cut this way instead of this way. That shouldn't be a big deal. All that's left to do now, take old metal chisel, pop this little bit of dross off the backside, 
or I could just take a wire wheel, a grinding disc. I'd probably do that if it was something decorative, like say a sign, but for just post brackets, who cares? All right, here we are next morning. I'm getting ready for another work day, but we need to wrap this video up. All right, so you can see I got all my brackets done and painted, and I've already got a lot more work planned for my table right here. What an amazing piece of equipment to have in the shop. All right, y'all, I can't explain how unbelievably excited I am, how blessed we are that we're able to make a living doing all these things that we do, whether it's creating content or doing work for people on the sides. We've got a lot of jobs already lined up. That's why I pulled the trigger on this. And oh my goodness, do we have so much exciting content that we're gonna create and share with you as well, giving you what you wanna see. I truly do believe this is gonna pay for itself and relatively quickly, I am so excited to learn the CAD and CAM software and to really get to creating some stuff. The sky's the limit with a machine like this. We're gonna create so many cool things. Thank y'all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.